Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully before installing or operating your machine. Hi, I'm Brent Williams with Miller Electric. We're going to discuss the benefits of pulse TIG welding and how to set it for the results you're looking for. Let's take a close look at pulse TIG welding and how it can improve your weld puddle control. The pulse feature is available on various models. Maxstar and Dynasty welders provide the greatest adjustment, so we'll concentrate on these machines. Before we get into the settings for pulse TIG, let's take a look at what it actually does. Basically, pulsing switches the amperage between a high and a low setting at a given rate. It's that simple. There are many benefits related to using pulse TIG, and one word describes them all, control. Pulsing lowers the average amperage, which helps control penetration and distortion. It also makes welding out of position easier. Pulsing at very high rates can focus the arc for faster travel speeds and increase directional control. There are three things to set when using the pulser. Pulse frequency, or pulses per second, peak time, and background amperage. These adjustments are selected using the pulser button on the front panel of the Maxstar Dynasty. First, set the pulses per second, which controls how fast the amperage switches. If you're trying to make a distinct ripple pattern or time the addition of filler to the puddle, turn the pulses per second down below 10. If you're trying to narrow the arc or increase the travel speed, use a higher setting. Turn the pulses per second up to 100, 200, or even higher. Next, you need to set the peak time, which is how long the amperage is at the higher level. This is set as a percentage of time. Common settings are from 40 to 60%. Higher settings give you a wider puddle and more penetration. Finally, set the background amperage, or the low pulse setting. This is set as a percentage of your main amperage. Common settings are from 25 to 50%. For a more fluid puddle, turn it up. The optimum setting depends on what you're trying to accomplish and may take some fine tuning. I hope you find this information useful and encourage you to try pulse TIG welding for your application. If you have additional questions, make sure to visit millerwelds.com and click on the resources tab. Thanks for watching.